1980, Lindsey Groves had the idea that it would be fun to have a festival in this beautiful town. In September, August that year, we had a th was it three weeks, David? Yeah. Festival ready to go with, with local eight, performers. With eight concerts, which I thought was pretty amazing. After some of the performances, people would stomp the floor and clap. It was so enthusiastic. And the success of the first season just gave us a tremendous boost, and it spread from there. For 23 years. This will be the 23rd year, yeah. issues that makes this uh, festival kind of unique is that we're not presenters. We don't present established groups, but invite individuals here, and they practice all week and work on a, a number that they're going to do, and it evolves in a very special way, depending upon the characteristics of the immediate uh, group of players. And it, uh, with them rehearsing here in the living room, it's just so exciting to feel it evolve and then hear the final product. It's very exciting. I think that um, for the size of this festival, we're getting more and more we're becoming better known all the time. Each year we add a few more people to our total list of audience. It's been growing incrementally over the 23 years. Newspapers will ask for our programs. Uh, the New York Times lists us in their festival program. And NPR broadcasts our uh, programs. We have people coming from California and say, oh, we heard uh, the Skinny Atlas Festival. Uh, I was driving through Georgia and I had to stop the car. <laughs> From year to year we wonder will it go on and it does and it has a momentum of its own now.